actually is good. It's not good, but it's good that he landed because I mean, yeah, three people three still people need to land crash, to beat crash, him. And yeah. you can still be on the board. Exactly. That is such a gnarly trick. What did he do? Double fall, double fall, 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 double fall. Yeah. Dude, that was pretty straight for his first one. That was pretty good. Because you're spinning two times on the first flip, one on the second, and then two times the oh, Dragon! And the late great Come on, baby. was the last time that American Mail stepped on the Olympic podium. Oh. Oh. No! That was a giant slap. All right, well, other than the fact that it was our, our last practice of the week before qualifiers, today was a pretty low-key day. Uh, did a little bit more recovery. I got a haircut, and um, that was kind of it. It was pretty chill. We watched the we watched the aerials finals, which was fun to watch, but heartbreaking because. Our guys didn't land their jumps in the super final. Two guys made it in the super final and then they didn't land their jumps as good as they wanted to, so that was unfortunate. But um, yeah, just kind of hanging, looking forward to competing tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can talk to Burke and Alex about their competing strategy because every athlete is so different. That's what makes our sport cool. I like to like, Imagine every alternative is supposed to be snowing tomorrow. So I'll go like right now before I go to bed I'll go visualize my runs in like really slow snow conditions and then like medium slow snow conditions and then like You know normal conditions like all the runs that I might potentially do tomorrow I'm gonna see them all in my head and that way when I if I Experience those conditions. I don't feel like I'm seeing it for the first time. I've already seen it up here that works for me. I don't know if that will work for everybody, but that's just a little thing that I do. Um, wind, wind's a thing. Wind was a thing during practice today. I definitely got blown around a little bit, so I'm gonna picture myself doing some tricks that I probably normally wouldn't do in the wind if I was not competing at the Olympics. I'm gonna picture those in my head anyways. Like, what do I do to do a trick in the wind? The way the wind was today, the way it might be worse tomorrow, or less severe, etc., etc. I like to see all those things in my head to give myself a chance to be ready for them if they do happen. And sometimes you do a ton of visualization and it never happens. But uh, like Russia, the Olympics in Russia is a perfect example of conditions that we had already experienced and were potentially going to happen. I visualized runs in those conditions over and over and over again. And I was able to stay cool, calm, and collect during the contest and land my run even though it was some of the worst conditions I've ever competed in my life. So. There's a little mental strength hot tip for you from Mental Giants. And uh, that's it for today. Catch you guys later. Good morning. It's uh, our last day of practice before, oh, hang on, sorry guys. There we go, that's better. Last day of practice before qualifiers tomorrow. And, uh, man, the cold weather has been making my feet hurt super bad in my boots. Because the boots are just so much more stiff and plasticky when it's minus 20 out. So I'm getting my foot taped by Jill this morning. Hopefully ease some of the pain on my, the outside of my heel. And, uh, then we'll go up and practice. So I was going to do a little, um, just some tape to secure it, okay. but I don't know if that's going to be too much in your boot. So what we can do is you can easily remove the fat. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just stretchy. Uh, yeah, I might tape it for now for sure. Yeah. And then I'll probably just try to keep take the tape off and keep it all on my ski sock. Because if I roll my ski sock on, it's tight enough. Yeah. It should stay. Yeah, okay. Morning. Morning, Jill. Please excuse my tardiness. I'm sorry. It's all good.
thought you were ahead of me. I got here and I was like, where's Al? <laughs> where's Al? He's late. Go with that yeah. profile. I think that should be good. All yeah. Right. Cool. And Hopefully it helps. Yeah. We'll see Otherwise, I'll grit my teeth and be fine, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. You're welcome. Say hello to the vlog, by the way. Hi, vlog. How are you? <laughs> welcome to sports medicine and our morning world before. Training. Morning routine. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Al, how's your uh, how's the old ankle injury been feeling? Ankle injury has been feeling much better now that we. Amen. Amen. Interesting combination of trying to do enough and not too much. Because here's what we don't want to do, Hannah. We don't want to not do enough so that we blow it in our contest around the qualities tomorrow. But we also don't want to do too much so that we're too tired and then we blow it in our runs and qualifiers tomorrow. So we're finding the balance. But uh, yeah, that's true. We don't have the we we have the good fortune of getting to watch them compete in finals while we take a nice break. My feet are gonna be very happy about not being in ski boots for one day. While they go four five days in a row, three days of practice, one day of qualifiers, right into finals. Let's go. It's, it's gonna be a wild ride, but she's she is all the woman it takes for that task. I don't even know what I just said means, but it sounds I, I got good. It. I for you. Let's go crush it! Interesting. 
do you ever visualize your runs? Like you ever just sit there and think about what, you, what tricks you're gonna do tomorrow? No. You don't? No. Never. I'm just think about my vibes. Wow. <laughs> what about you, Al? Do you visualize? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like how much? Uh, quite a bit. Probably. <laughs> Can you stop TikToking? I don't know. We're trying to be serious, man. What? I thought this was a fun vlog, dude. Oh, that's right. No, we're, it's fun. It's, it's all fun. Probably like three, four, five times a week, something like that. Okay. You? Um, that's a good question. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm curious what, how, what, like, what does visualization look for like for you? Do you do full runs? Do you do tricks like one at a time? What do you full do? runs. Full okay. runs four times through. Four times through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll do like. I'll probably do each run. I'll do like different run combinations that I want to do like five times probably. Okay. But then if I'm having a trick like switch right dub that I struggle with all the time, then I'll just like do it on repeat. Okay. The takeoff mostly. Yeah. Just like, cause that's the moment. If you get the takeoff, you get the trick. Sure. For the most part. True that. Yeah, I think everyone's strategy is different. That's why I wanted to talk about it. Cause it's so interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, you got people like Bert just ripping talks. Just not, but not. <laughs> but I, I respect it. Like I dig it. Absolutely. It's I hard. wish, I wish I was like that. Yeah, I wish I was. Because I've always, I was always jealous of the kids, seriously, like Burke, who were just really good at competing because they just went out there and vied. But in my career, I was really bad at competing because I couldn't get, I couldn't find the vibe. I was so stressed. Like early on, I was always so stressed because I wanted to land my run so badly. Oh yeah. It's like I've been—I just want to do it so bad, and <laughs> wanting it that bad was what got in my way yeah. of doing it. Yeah. So it wasn't until I started for me. It wasn't until I started like not quite caring something, which is probably I just probably f found the long way into this, a similar strategy to you. Cause yeah. I stopped caring quite so much about this moment. I have to land. I have to land this run right now. I stopped telling myself. No, because the thing is, you we're all very capable of landing all of our runs. So it's it, it'll happen. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The body's just doing the work. Just go out there, and, and then your mind gets in the way. It's true. It is true. Yeah, when I started, oh, just saying I'm gonna do my best. I guess it's like a have to versus get to mentality. That was the yeah, that was yeah. the thing that really broke through for me. It was like, I don't have to do this, I want but to I this. get to. Yeah, I get to do this. I want it's to like, do this. Yeah. Well, I used to write on my sleeve, embrace the opportunity. Just like, hey, go out there and enjoy this opportunity you've got. You're, you're one of the few that gets to do this. Yeah. And I started like saying, oh, I get to land this run. That's what I did in Pyeongchang. I was like, well... Can't control the fact that my skis came off every time, so yeah. far. But I got one more shot. It's the best of three. Never doubt it out. <laughs> Not until the, the fat lady sings. Not until the fat lady sings. Yeah. It's the beauty of it. What do you approach differently for a two-run contest like Wally's versus a three-run contest like finals? I have to win this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get. I don't get to. I have to. <laughs> no, I. I I always, I remember when I was first competing that all the contests were two runs. Yeah. So I still think it's weird that we get three runs, even though we've been I, I'm, for the I can of. totally relate. Yeah. I, I would say, I mean, a couple times I've, I've won things on my third run, but for the most part, if I haven't landed a good run by my second run, it's probably not my day. Maybe. Most of the time. Yeah. It, it's always different for me. I've run on the first run, I've won on the second run, I've won on the third run. It's just, I don't know. It's the way the world sometimes. Yeah. The way the universe unfolds itself. <laughs> it's different every time though. Yeah. What about you, Bert? Mm -hmm. You do anything different for two round contests versus three round contests? No. <laughs> no. I pretty much approach it all the same. You just, a, just vibe. As, a, as a contest where I just do my run. I feel like, yeah, I, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't change a strat for a one run, B2 run. Or a. Three run before run. Do you ever plan? Do you ever plan out runs 
in your head based on if you land your first run, then you would do this trick on the second one? It's, it's half plan, half, but mostly I'd say it's like 20% plan, 80% in the moment, kind of like, let's see what I can do here, kind of thing. Interesting. I'm the opposite. I'm like 80% plan, 20%. Yeah, mine, mine would usually be like an in the moment kind of chuck fest. And you're good at that. Because I'm not good at the in the moment chuck. But when you, uh, what was it? It was a do tour this year. When you accidentally almost did two tens. Mm -hmm. And you were just like last second wrapped it to 12. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was like, all right. Yeah. A, a, a single 12. I learned most of my tricks <laughs> in contests. That's crazy. It's the best way for me to do them. Because you just, there's that, you like, don't have the fear aspect. Because the, yeah, the hype just, gets you past the fear aspect. Yeah, just do, yeah, just just go just for do it. or get done. That's true. You know, land or I, have land, I have learned some tricks in contests. Uh, so I, call, I totally follow you on that. Word. Well. Yeah, I, look, I look forward to uh, skiing with you tomorrow. It'll be fun. It's going to be fun. Very fun. Game day. Here we go. Oh, I got a fresh cut for game day. You yeah, guys, you guys can tell me what you think. It was fire. Thanks, bro. Jeremy, thoughts, comments, concerns? Nope, no concerns at all. Mostly just concerns. I think you guys have no concerns. I think you guys are ready. I think we're ready. Prepped, ready. Uh, looking the best out of everybody out there, I think. Woohoohoo! Dropping claims! Mm -hmm. well, I'm doing it. All right, man. And I'm trying to learn some editing myself. Here. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Teaching old dog new stuff. Perfect. How's your Chinese? Um, ni hao. <laughs> I got that one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you say you're welcome? It's, uh. How do you say you're welcome, Chow? Uh, Bukachi. Bukachi. Oh, I can remember that. Bukachi. Yeah. I just think of Bugatti. All right. Good night, guys.